I love chocolate covered treats but I have a little bit of trouble when trying to melt chocolate especially the white chocolate chips so I've invited Jada to come show us how to melt white chocolate and milk chocolate so that we can make our own homemade chocolate covered treats Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. Today, I'm going to show you how to melt some chocolate for your Valentine's Day treats. I have some water and it's heated. It's heating up and you get a glass bowl like this so that you don't burn it. You don't want to just put it in a, a pot and just kind of melt it. So we're going to Throw the white ones in first because the white ones give mom the most trouble. But the key is, is patience. So then we put a little bit of EVLO. Is that trademark? <laughs> but yeah. So I put it in the cap just so it'll melt better and have like a shiny texture. That's what people say. So what you want to do is stir it up and let it melt slowly. And we'll be back when it's already melting. So I think this is where I usually go wrong. I don't have patience to stay here and just kind of stir this. So by the time I walk away and come back, my white chocolate is one big hard lump of nothing. So I'm, I'm taking tips from Jada right here. So she's putting a little bit more olive oil. So I think she's put like I want to say a couple tablespoons already for the extra virgin olive oil and then she's just stirring and look it's melting into a nice thin liquid that we can drench the stuff that we want to cover in it or we could just dip the stuff in there you know so now let's take care of the milk chocolate so I have some more chocolate chips and we've got a bigger pot here with a bigger bowl and she's just gonna toss some in. I'm melting all this chocolate because we're gonna dip fun items in it. She's having a little bit too much fun melting these chocolates for us today, guys. I noticed that she didn't put as much extra virgin olive oil in the milk chocolate chips as she did with the white chocolate chips. So, when it comes to melting chocolate, you have to be patient and put enough oil that it will be able to be runny and that we could dip stuff in it. So, I'll see you next video. Bye. All right, guys, so you see all you'll need is some white chocolate chips, some milk chocolate chips. If you have dark chocolate, that would work too. Jada used some extra virgin olive oil, but you can use any vegetable oil that you have on hand. Melt the chocolates the way Jada showed us, then grab your favorite fruit or snack, because in the next video, Jada's going to show us how to cover everything in chocolate so we can make something special for our Valentine, and we won't even have to wait in the long lines at the candy store. Thanks for watching The Bear Pantry Show. Don't forget to follow the page and check out my book at my Facebook store or at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.